Bivis. Dig out what you can on Bivis section. I know it's unethical, but I'll make an exception for the fuck knuckle who's writing the PM's Twitter stream. Hold on, that'll be one of your Einsteins, wouldn't it, Soph? Afraid not. He's still very keen to pen them himself. 5.56. We'll do this on the run. Kids off the couch, it's uh, what? It's an after-school health initiative. The PM is obsessed with healthy small people. Capital Works announcement. Regional roads. Ah, the pointy end of government today. And there's talk of some journalists being detained for questioning in Pyongyang. Anyone we know? Three Americans, two Brits, one at Aussie, but she's been living in the UK for 10 years. Well, hardly belongs to us anymore. Who's the lucky spokesperson? Minister McMahon. Then you write his answers out. You have to write his answers out. He's got the IQ of a numbat. I wrote them out. You did? Can I just say you've been spectacularly trained? Joey? Ah, Mr. Banks, your special friend. They don't revoke your gallery pass when you only show up three times a year. I think the limit for membership is two, actually. <laughs> uh, Keats, I need you. Yeah, I'll be right there after the briefing. Uh, now? Does the Prime Minister know about this? No. No, and the thinking is it'd be best to keep him at arm's length at this until, um, until we know how the dust is going to settle. Arm's length? You, you want to talk me through arm's length? Everything will go through me. Your job's to protect the PM, so for him to be able to say, hand on heart, I didn't know, I think is the best possible position at the moment. So we need to, um, need to give the reptiles in the gallery something to chew on instead. That needs to go out today. Christ, Dan, I don't know. It's not a conversation, Randall. You're the javelin catcher. If you feel squeamish about it, feel free to take the hit yourself. 